Hiya, it's Linda Lee, and I wanted to share some of my finds from the Facebook Marketplace as well as my local Goodwill store. And what you can see here is a collection of doilies. So these all came from the same person. I don't know if it was, you know, like Grandma's Hope Chest or, you know, really where they came from. There wasn't any information on them if they were vintage or not you got to keep your eyes open especially my uh my crafting people because you can pay a lot of money for this stuff but if you keep your eyes open and kind of watch um you know there are some really good deals to be had out there and even some of the people that are are selling this stuff will negotiate pricing postage is pretty much you know postage is what it is and we got to keep our our local carriers in business right but look at this stuff oh can you see it on top of each other I think you can yay I was so excited to get this this whole lot um, I don't know if this will show on top of that but look at this one that came with the same little collection and I didn't spend that much money on it. I think when I divided it down into the individual pieces, it ended up being like $3 each. And that's including the postage. And that's about how much I spend when I go to my antique shops um, and buy uh, handkerchiefs and doilies. It's usually $3 or under, which is my um, personal threshold per item because um, unless it's something really super super I gotta have it but I'm gonna dye them I'm gonna cut them I'm gonna sew them into some kind of craft project you know either as they are or altered in some way so I don't want to make a huge investment unless I said like I said it's really super super special um, and everybody holds value in a different way in these types of items. Uh, some of them have emotional attachments to them, so they might not sell it uh, as inexpensively as someone else might. So like I say, you just got to keep your eyes open for the, the bargains. Now, these were all Facebook Marketplace find. Um, I have a couple of things that I got from my Goodwill that I want to show you. Uh, that are in the similar line of item. Um, here is a little doily. It's got a slight blue tint to it, but it's got some embroidering and then, um, you know, the lace that's stitched all the way around it. So again, this is something, this is typically something that I would um, put in my eco dies. eventually to be like a journal cover or part of another sewing project, whether it becomes some kind of wall mounted item. These here, I have a few of these. Uh, I got these at my local Goodwill. So there were four of them and I got them for $3, but that particular colored tag was on sale. So it was $1.50 for four placemats. Um, that have like a little doily on the top and they're quilted. So see how it's got this quilting fabric underneath it. I can very easily uh, use it as is in some kind of shabby chic journal or I can cut it down and you know use the different elements. This lace piece actually yeah this is a separate lace piece that's stitched on top so the components of this can even be taken apart and being that I have more than one I just might do that see here this one is coming actually unstitched a little bit already so you can kind of see it see yeah uh, that's a sliver holy moly anyway <laughs> sorry about that and then the other thing that I wanted to show you in this short little video is something that I found. This is also a Facebook marketplace. I had no idea that sugar at one time was kept in fabric bags. None whatsoever. And I saw these and again um, 
it was really inexpensive. It was almost more for the postage to get it to me because it came out from, you know, the Midwest uh, than it was for me to actually purchase the items. But look at these bags. They're all so soft and faded. I had no idea that sugar at one time came in fabric bags. This one is from New York. These two were from Utah. And then this one looks like it's another one of these type of bags. It's really super, super light. And then the last one, which is kind of in between, but super faded. So keep your eyes open because you just never know. Thanks for hanging out for a few minutes, and that's all I have for the moment. Oh, these two dishes, too. Look at these. So while I'm doing my beading, um, you know, I have cool little dishes to, to kind of keep my components together. Also, I was thinking about maybe doing a reverse decoupage so that you can kind of see through maybe with um, some of my scraps. So I don't know, maybe that'll end up being some sort of uh, project that I do online. Thanks again for hanging out. Until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>